You've heard it before, right? That humans only use 10% of their brains. Sounds scary, like we're all walking around with a bunch of unused brain power just gathering dust. Good news, everyone. It's a myth. We use all of our brains, even when we're binging bad reality TV. Think of your brain like a powerful computer. It's constantly running, processing information, and keeping you alive and functioning. Every part has a purpose, even if we don't fully understand it yet. So that 10% thing, totally bogus, but hold on. What if we could optimize our brains? What if we could access even more of that incredible processing power? Now that's where things get really interesting. Imagine this, a world where we could tap into the full potential of our brains. No more brain fog, no more forgetting where you put your keys. We're talking next level intelligence and capabilities here. Think about it like upgrading your internet speed. Right now, you're browsing the web at a decent speed. But what if you could download entire movies in seconds? That's the kind of upgrade we're talking about with our brains. Suddenly, complex problems become solvable. New inventions pop up left and right. And that annoying neighbor who always uses your leaf blower at 6 a.m.? Maybe we can finally figure out a way to get some peace and quiet. Limitless possibilities, like Eddie from Limitless, but with less drama. Remember the movie? Eddie takes a pill and bam, he's a financial genius, learning languages in a flash and basically becoming the best version of himself. Now, I'm not promising a magic pill yet, but unlocking our brain power could lead to similar advancements. Imagine understanding complex scientific theories in minutes or mastering a new language just by listening to a podcast. We could even see advancements in telekinesis or telepathy. Who needs smartphones when you can communicate with your mind? Of course, with great brain power comes great responsibility. Thanks, Uncle Ben. We'd need to consider the ethical implications of such advancements. But hey, that's a problem for future US with superpowered brains to solve, right? Imagine the gadgets and gizmos we could create if our brains were firing on all cylinders. We're talking smartphones that can predict the future. Okay, maybe not. But a sci-fi guy can dream. Think artificial intelligence that can actually think for itself. Or virtual reality experiences so real, you'd swear you were on another planet. We could even develop technology to repair damaged brain tissue, ending diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The possibilities are as limitless as our imaginations and our newly enhanced brains. From self-driving cars that can navigate rush hour traffic to robots that can do your taxes, the future of technology would be mind-blowing, literally. Chore doing robots and self-folding laundry. Now let's get down to the important stuff. How would unlocking our brain power change our daily lives? For starters, imagine never forgetting a name or a face again. Goodbye, awkward encounters at parties. We could also say adios to those pesky chores. With advanced robotics and AI, our homes could practically run themselves. Imagine robots that do the dishes, fold the laundry, and even cook gourmet meals. Now that's what I call a smart home. And what about travel? Forget airplanes and trains. With teleportation technology, we could visit any corner of the globe or even other planets in the blink of an eye. Pack your bags or don't. Who needs luggage when you can teleport? Because the world and beyond is our oyster. Section six. The future of brain power. It's out there, somewhere. Okay, so maybe we're not quite at the point where we can teleport or read each other's minds, yet. But the potential of the human brain is truly awe-inspiring. While the 10% myth is just that, a myth. The quest to unlock our full cognitive abilities is a journey worth taking. As science and technology continue to advance, who knows what incredible breakthroughs await us. Maybe one day, we'll look back on this era and laugh at how little we knew. Or maybe, just maybe, 
will have already moved on to telepathic communication and won't need these clunky old computers anymore. Until then, keep those brains buzzing.